Hello lovely Virgos and a very warm welcome to you to your May 2019 horoscope. And the month starts out on the 4th with a lovely new moon happening up here in your ninth house. There's going to be a tremendous amount of planetary activity in this ninth house. So let's look at what this means. The ninth house has everything to do with your spiritual growth, finding meaning in your life, retreats, astrology, anything esoteric, metaphysical, and anything to do with higher learning, increasing your knowledge, your perspective, widening your perspective of life which is why the ninth house rules travel, especially long distance travel. Because when you go on a long distance trip, you're outside all your comfort zones usually, usually a different language, a different culture, different food, different smells, sights, sounds, you name it. And you wake up, you feel different. And this is what's happening with this ninth house activation. On the seventh of the month, we've got Mercury, joining the party and on the 16th Venus. So this is a wonderful boost of energy, if you like, for anything connected with travel, planning a trip, going on a trip, meeting somebody from overseas, could lead to romance or a friendship or a business relationship. It's great for learning a foreign language, for studying something to a higher level than you've studied it before. It's great for publishing, for getting that book out there, for speaking, for sharing information, for inspirational knowledge. This is a very inspirational house. So it's time to expand, time to expand beyond those little boundaries that you put in place for yourself, dear Virgos, and really go beyond the familiar and find some treasure you didn't know was out there, but you had hoped, but this brings some magic into your life. First couple of weeks we've got Mars in the 10th house, so good time for putting energy into your work, your career, for doing a project on your own where you're taking the initiative. It's not brilliant for teamwork, but if you are working with a team, you might just find yourself having to be patient with other people. So just remember to breathe and uh, smile along. On the 16th of the month, we've got Mars going into your 11th house here. And this is a good time for putting energy into networking, online and offline. It's a good time for uh, putting energy into new friendships, a new social circle, maybe joining a new organization or community connecting up with people with whom you share common interests. This is a wonderful aspect for that. It's also a good time to put energy into uh, your dreams, your wishes. What are you hoping for yourself personally, your ideal life, and what is your ideal world? And then see if you can take some action steps towards those ideals and dreams. On the 18th, we've got a full moon happening in your third house. This is shining a light on your mental activity. Is your mind running you with all kinds of fears and should and could and regrets and might have? And how can you work with the mind energy in a positive way? But noticing those negative patterns and becoming aware and changing them. Abandonment, rejection, betrayal, all those things that don't feel good. How can you turn them around? This moon energy gives you that opportunity to become aware and more conscious of what you've been doing. It's also a time when something can come to fruition, especially to do with studies or learning something or teaching something. Maybe you're going to share a course of your own that inspires you with others. On the 22nd, we've got the sun and Mercury coming into your 10th house. Once again, shining a light and saying, it's time for you Virgos to shine in the world. 
And that doesn't mean to say you have to be famous or out there in a very public way. But at some point you do go out and interact with people, at least most of you I would imagine do. So can you be aware of shining your light? Bringing something that is uplifting and joyful to others. See if you can do that consciously and watch your world transform in a very positive way. Neptune in this seventh, you may be just drawn to people. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition when it says, hmm, not sure about this one. Go cautiously, but also trust your intuition when it feels really right in every cell of your body. So I wish you a wonderful month. Thank you very much for listening, for sharing, for liking, for commenting and subscribing. Bye for now.